Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back in the video, and today I'm gonna talk about why the Toronto Raptors need to trade DeMar to Rosen, or at least get rid of him in some way. But they would have to trade him because his contract and everything up. But I'm getting to that later. Now, y'all might be like, why in the world would the Raptors get rid of DeMar to Rosen after coming off of a 60 plus win season? Well, 59 win, a 59 win season this year. Well, because they aren't, they haven't been playing that great, and there were reports that just came out today that they were quietly looking for trade packages and like potential trade offers for DeMar, DeMar to Rosen in last offseason and that they're still willing to accept trade offers for him this offseason, which means they are more than willing to trade DeMar DeRozan this season. And I would not be surprised if we did see a trade as they did already get rid of Dwayne Casey to show like their signs of they trying to kind of trying to explode the team and start kind of rebuilding it up. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Lowry or DeMar DeRozan got traded this year. So yeah, without further ado, without me running on too much, let's get right into this video. All right, so my first reason is going to be that they're pretty much kind of falling into that Los Angeles Clippers category where they had a good team that will always play very very good in the regular season but always seem to fade out and choke in the postseason and end up just losing either in the first second or third round in the playoffs mostly usually the first or second round and I mean they're kind of like they really are almost identical as the Lob City had a big three that never really worked out and always had great regular seasons always were hyped up going into the playoffs and then just never did anything in the actual playoffs themselves that's pretty much what the Raptors did over and over and over again especially this year as I mean just look the Raptors have had three straight 50 plus win seasons in a row where they have only made it to the conference finals one time where they then lost it four to two to the Cleveland Cavaliers and then guess what the next two years they made only made it to the second round both years just to get swept both years against the Cleveland Cavaliers so that pretty much shows the Lowry and DeRozan project have not worked at all when you're consistently getting beat by the same team back to back to back years and then the other last two years that you're supposed to have the chemistry and be better you get swept and especially this year when you had the best team you've ever had a lot of people thought your team was better than the Cavs you get swept in the second round pretty convincingly I mean yeah you had that buzzer beater but besides that buzzer beater game and that pretty much game one and game four uh, the games were pretty convincingly lost by y'all and they kind of just showed that they could not beat the Cavs they like they just kind of gave up you could tell they didn't really want to play and the Lebronto Raptors just were no, no stand against the Cavs which shows that project has completely failed and they need to blow it up and the biggest way to blow it up is get rid of one of the players of it and keep at least one young star and so if they got rid of DeMar DeRozan that's really what they would be doing and keep on Kyle Lowry but now my second reason is going to be that they are too small their team is too small to make a finals run as I mean yes Valley Junis is a very decent player but he's not an elite player and Abak is also an undersized power forward and that lack of rebounding really shows as they are ranked 19th in the league in rebounds per game which is not good enough you have to be able to be, get rebounds and keep your opponents off the boards to end up winning games. You can't give up many second chance opportunities if you want to make the finals, especially when you're going to have to play teams like the Golden State Warriors and Houston Rockets in the NBA Finals if you do get there. And then also, I mean, they are ranked 18th in opponents points in the paint per game, which means they give up the most, the 18th most points per game in the paint to other teams, which is very, very bad. So that lack of a uh, front court shows that they have a lack of a paint present and defense. And also they give up the second most rebounds per game out of everyone in the entire league they're just not very good at grabbing rebounds and they give up tons of offensive rebounds per game so they really just cannot like I don't know they're just not very good at grabbing rebounds because of their lack of like big size lack of size really because even their bench is pretty small so really like if you have that lack of size you're not gonna be able to make a finals run because if you give a team like the Warriors or even Cleveland Cavaliers second chance opportunities consistently in a game they're going to make you pay and you're not going to be able to come back from that but now my third reason is going to be it would it would actually develop their young talent very very nicely as right now they are the eighth youngest team in the entire league as their average age is 25 years old which is very very good thing to have and with like how iso reliant the raptors are well i mean their young talent doesn't really get a chance to develop because i mean with the ball is always in either lowry or DeRozan's hand and they're just isoing and get, taking a quick shot or something and i mean if if you got rid of DeRozan, that would then give you a great chance to develop your young talent like OJ Anabayu, who doesn't get a lot of touches because of DeRozan and Lowry always trying to like score and not really dumping it down into the post much. But if Lowry was then 
with there was there, he would be forced to be an actual point guard, dump it up to the dump it down to the post, where OJ would OG would actually be able to get legit shots up in post, work on his post game. You know, he'd actually be able to get real development time. And then another young player, a huge breakout year from him, Fred Van Vliet. This dude was an absolute beast and a huge part of the reason to why they were able to make it this far into the playoffs and why they had such a great regular season. Well, I mean, he probably didn't get as many minutes as he deserved just because of how good the backcourt was. So now Fred Van Vliet will most likely be starting for the Raptors if DeRozan gets gets traded, assuming they don't trade for another guard. So, I mean, that is another great thing. And now that Fred Van Vliet will be getting starting minutes, he'll be able to develop even faster than he is already developing. And especially from what we saw this year, he has a chance to be a great, great perimeter shooter, if not a top five perimeter shooter, if he gets the time. But now my fourth and final reason is going to be that they were in great shape to do it. Most teams, if they lose a player on the level of DeMar DeRozan, they would be like hurting for a very long time and be one of the bottom feeder teams, but not the Raptors because, I mean, just look, they still have Kyle Lowry, one of the best point guards in the game. And then, like, their biggest strength, they are so deep that they have someone that, you know, I mean, obviously they can't fully replace the Rosen, but he'll be a very, very solid replacement for him. I mean, they won't be losing much of a step at all. And, I mean, depending on who they trade for, it could be multiple starters to beef in their starting lineup and then add even more depth, or they could be one superstar player, some more young talent. No telling what they do. It's a win-win situation for them. So, really, like, if they're going to trade DeMar DeRozan or Kyle Lowry, this is the time to do it because I mean they are never going to be in as great a shape they're never going to have a bench this great their bench is amazing they're never going to have a bench this great they're never going to have two star point guard and shooting guards like they have right now they have two all star point guard and shooting guards so they are able to get rid of one and keep one that is amazing and they would be able to rebuild around him so yeah I think those are my four reasons why I think they should trade DeMar DeRozan and why they need to trade DeMar DeRozan but I want to hear your thoughts below do you think they should trade DeRozan do you think they should trade Lowry like I I really want to know do you think the Raptors should just keep it the same and try to beat the Cavs with this team and just add to it. I really want to hear your thoughts below. And if you did like that at any point, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. That would literally just make me ejaculate in my pants. And, okay, that got weird. But, yeah, so I hope all y'all have a blessed day. Hope everyone has a blessed day. I had a blessed day. Y'all have a blessed day. See you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye. Boo.